Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am setting up May the 12th through May the 18th. And so I'm sure you're like, okay, why are we looking at May 5th through the 11th? Well, I wanted to mention at least one thing in particular, and also just show you what last week looked like for me. I still have to finish out Friday and Saturday, but overall, this is what my week looked like and I just love how all of the colors came together. So the one thing I wanted to mention is this little section here. So probably back in April, like mid-April, I started pulling out my mild liners, my Arteza Real Brush pens, and also my S-Note Sharpies. And so whatever the color was for that week, based on the stickers I was using, I would identify colors that were either the same or complemented the spread. And it's been easier to identify the colors that I want to use for the week and then use them throughout the week. And so of course you see um, the green up here where I am indicating my meeting schedule. And then I use the other colors, the yellow and the orange throughout the side and the bottom portion of my spread. And I find that doing my weekly spreads like this have been so very helpful because other times when I didn't have colors identified, I just felt like I would wind up putting the highlighter or the brush pen back into these containers and then they would get lost. And then I'd pick out a color hoping that I was picking the right one and it'd just be this whole thing. So I take out whatever it is that I'm using for that week color wise and I put them in my pen case and um, I just put this in here and move around from space to space. So just wanted to point that out because it is working so well for me and I just wanted to share this with you all because I just love how it came out. So now with all of that said, I am going to set up this week. So this is going to be May 12th through the 18th. I like a Sunday start in today's spread or in the spread for this week. I'll be using stickers from Mandy Lynn Plans. And although I've used her stickers before, this is my first time using a kit today and I am using this beautiful kit because in my area, it is going to be rainy all week long, or at least for the majority of the week. And so I thought this sticker kit was quite fitting for the weather in my area this week. And then also I went ahead and pulled out a Sharpie S-Note and two mile liners for this week's spread. So I'll use these three interchangeably. And I'm also going to pull in some date stickers from Recollections. Here are the date stickers that I'll be using. And that is it. I will have to get up to get my work schedule, my meeting schedule for the week. And I will do that in a moment, but we're gonna go ahead and get started with decorating my spread. I'm just gonna white out some of this, not everything. So I know I have not done a plan with me in quite some time. Well, I did one last week, but that was a music only plan with me. So I know I haven't sat down and talked and done a plan with me like this in a few months. 
And that is primarily because I have been very focused on working with clay. So I am new to clay and I've been working with it for about, I would say in total six months. So I did start working with it like mid, not midsummer, but like late summer last year. And then I stopped and then I picked it back up. So in total, I'll say about six to seven months. And so recently I have just been all in with that. And so that is part of the reason why I have not done a plan with me. The other reason why I have not, oh, I should have whited out the Thursday and Friday. Let me do that really quick. So the other reason why I have not done a plan with me is because I've been sitting in my office and before my day starts, I will sit and, well, not every day, but before the week starts. So like I work Monday through Friday and when the week starts, I will sit down at my desk and set up my, my planner at my desk in my office. And so I just got into the habit of doing that and um and now we're here <laughs> months later and you know i haven't had a plan with me video like this in all this time because i have been doing this at my desk first thing monday morning before my work week and work day gets started so I like to break up my spread. Now this doesn't mean that things that happen, personal things that happen in the morning won't fall down here at the bottom because sometimes I do add, like if I have an appointment, even though it might be a morning appointment, it still might be down here as like something that I, I did or accomplished for the day. So it's not necessarily to separate my activities or it's not necessarily that everything you see up here happened in the morning. Well, if you see meetings up here, they definitely happened in the morning, but things down here, they're down here, but they may have happened throughout the day. Let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and put down the days of the week. Although I have not been recording any plan with me's in the last um, few months, I mean, outside of last week, I will say that I have been in my planner and I'm so very proud of myself because usually by this time in the planner, I am over it. <laughs> I am like ready for the new planner, ready for a different planner and just not using my planner like whatsoever. And so I feel like I have quite a few incomplete planners um, because I just got to a point where I was like, I'm so done, like next, <laughs> like that kind of thing. But this time with this particular planner, this Hobonichi cousin, oh my goodness, like I think, I have found, what do they call it? Planner piece. <laughs> I really do think I've, I've found that because I cannot remember a time, you know, outside of like when I was growing up that I have stayed in one planner for so long and not just like had the planner, but actually used it. And so I'm taking a moment. <laughs> to show you that like this baby right here is well loved and I have just thoroughly enjoyed it. So I am looking forward to using the July through December because this is just January through June. This is the effect. And so I'm so looking forward to setting up the second one for the second half of this year and getting into that because I've had such a good time with this one. I can't speak for next year, but for like right now, yep, this is definitely my jam. Okay, that will work. I have these um, stickers here stuck to the flower pot. 
pull this one and actually I didn't even need to pull this one up but I thought I did oh well let's go ahead and put it back down okay yes that works I wanted to put this one down here so that's that let us see so I need my three sections over here so I need my section for my highlighters, my mild liners, Sharpie S notes, and then my tracking. So I track my film and editing schedule. I don't really have like a schedule like, oh, on this day, I'm scheduled to do this. As it pertains to filming and editing, I just track when I've done them. Of course, there's my water, which I have yet to reach my goal of 48 ounces a day. I've gotten close but haven't quite done the 48. And so we're still gonna keep adding it until until I get there. And then of course my audiobooks. And so that is definitely something that I do weekly. And I think a few weeks back, I was able to listen to an audiobook every single day of the week. And so that was like super exciting for me. It was like one of those small wins, but that's what I'm gonna start putting down. I'm gonna lay down some stickers and then I'm gonna do all of the stuff that I was just talking about. So this is cool gray and this is blue green. This has, <laughs> this has no name. So I just put the name of the marker. So those are the three colors that I'll be using throughout um, this week's spread. Sometimes I will do seven days for the week. Sometimes I will do four or five or six. It really depends on when I'm sitting down to set up my planner because if it's like Tuesday and I'm setting up my planner and I already know that Sunday and Monday I did nothing, then I'll do, you know, I'll um, do this for only like five days. But for this week, I think I'm actually going to do seven because it is Monday evening and I did some editing. When did I do editing? Like really late last night into Monday. So I think I'm going to put it down as Sunday activity. And then of course today, Monday, I'll have some filming. So I'll be able to put that in. So I'm going to do, I have seven days because it's so early in the week and I've already done filming and editing. I'm just going to have space to be able to capture all the days of this particular week. This is where I'll put my water, tracking my water and tracking my audiobooks or you know, just being able to track that I've actually listened to one of them because right now I am in the process of listening to three, I think. And so just as long as I listen to something, then the box gets checked and I am here for that.
time now I need to pull my work schedule and so I will be right back. I'm back, which for you all was like two seconds, but for me it was like two to three minutes, but um, I have my meeting schedule for the week and I am going to use this blue green for that. So that is my meeting schedule for the week. I am only going to fill out Sunday and Monday. So for me, although I may have things planned for the week, I rather wait until that particular day and then put down what it is that I did. Yesterday I did laundry and I folded clothes. <laughs> and all I can say is that those two things happening on the same day is quite an accomplishment. to just wrap this up by adding some decorative stickers. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.